testing area. I'm Ramona Yi from the R&D Center, where I've been testing batteries since the EV1 days. The 96 channels and 16 thermal chambers that you see here doubles our current cell testing capability. With the cycler, we can electrically exercise a battery by pushing power in and out to simulate its usage in the vehicle. And in the thermal chamber, we can adjust the temperature to be at anywhere in the world. In that thermal chamber right there, we have two Chevy Volt prismatic cells hooked up. Uh, so you can see how they're uh, hooked up in the chamber. GM's investment in the green technology, like our hybrid programs in the Chevy Volt, has generated a lot of excitement in the advanced battery world, where more and more suppliers are calling about their products. Unfortunately, these batteries come in different chemistries, sizes, and shapes, not necessarily suited for automotive use. So GM has a four-phase process to qualify the battery from the cell to the pack. As you can see on this poster, we have evaluated over 155 chemistries from 115 suppliers to date in phase zero on paper, and the list continues to grow. We send them a questionnaire, and based on their response, since about their product, we bring in the promising ones in-house to test. Thus far, we screened over 60 chemistries from about 20 suppliers in phase one. And you can see some of the examples here displayed on the table. Besides batteries, we also test supercapacitors. By doing the test ourselves, we can compare them under the same conditions and see if they meet vehicle needs over a wide range of temperatures. Even though many of these cells have excellent performance at room temperature, some of them may be lacking at cold temperature or have insufficient light. With such a new technology, we really don't have enough historical data to see if they'll last 10 years. But with 24-7 testing in the lab, we can reduce the life test from 10 years to two years. So thus far, we've tested thousands of cells, including those in packs, and built a large database to benchmark the technology. We also work closely with the suppliers in phase two to do more extensive cell testing to improve their products. And finally, in phase three, we do pack testing here in this facility that you'll see later as part of your tour with Lance Turner. Over there behind the windows, we have a shaker table to test the structural integrity of the battery pack by exercising it thermally, electrically, and physically. That way we can simulate real world conditions like potholes in the lab rather than uh, on the streets. So with this in-house testing facility, we will help move forward the advanced battery technology. We will have a better understanding of how the battery behaves over a wide range of vehicle conditions. That way we can predict at all times its battery capable, power capability, and available energy, and, and life. And also lead the way in standardizing test methodology and battery specification for automotive use. In summary, we have a smart process in place to qualify the battery from cell to the pack so that we can be a smart buyer and select the right battery for the right application. We can be a smart user and engineer the conditions around the battery pack to give optimal life. One example is the Chevy Volt pack that you'll see next with uh, Bill Wallace. And the ultimate goal is to lower the cost of this new green technology for all and lessen our dependency on a limited fossil fuel source. Thank you.